you said that you know dot ai bubble is bigger than ever and it will be the biggest shit show yeah end quote <laughs> which i actually took and tweeted by the way thank you <laughs> some great did you, I don't know if you saw it i thought if you saw it after like, oh, this guy took my tweet that was thank good. you um what did you Channel mean openly. what did you mean yeah exactly what did you mean by like the biggest bubble ever and the biggest shit show Oh, I mean, like the dot-com bubble, we've seen all these bubbles happen. You know, you had hundreds of billions into Web3 and then developers got paid millions. Already the, uh, there are certain Chinese companies paying $1.2 million salaries for PhDs. Uh, it's already getting a bit insane. They're in remembrance of that. The amount of money relative to the amount of opportunity within the sector is just completely misaligned. Like my TAM analysis is that a thousand companies will spend 10 million in the next year, a hundred companies spend a hundred and 10 companies spend a billion. Like PwC just announcing they'll spend a billion over the next three years. And that's a accountancy firm, you know? Where's that gonna go? They don't know, nobody knows. And so a multiple of that will be allocated to this as the only growth theme in the entire market against the backdrop of rising rates, real estate crashing, etc. So the amount of capacity versus the amount and whale and wall of money yep. into something that's growing faster than anything we've ever seen yep. is completely mismatched. And what will that cause? Like already you're seeing GitHub stars leading to $100 million funding rounds with zero traction and zero business model. Like stability, we actually have a business model and it's a good business model because I designed it. Um, but other things like money will go everywhere and any is expertise will get good bit up. for the space because it means that projects will get funded that maybe wouldn't have done, but are exploratory generally and over. I think it starts good for the space, but then it gets bad for the space because you see the raccoons and shysters start to come in here. You start to see like malformed things where there's a race dynamic where everyone's trying to build their own models and doing all sorts and massive economic waste. And you see a distraction from what we need to do now, which is there's chaos and so we need to standardize some things. We need to feed these models better data and other stuff. And that's why we're moving so hard at stability. There should be no more web scrape data in here. There should be national data sets that are good quality to feed these free range organic models and national and proprietary models and others. And so that's why one of the reasons I signed that letter, because I think there's a six month pause to get all of our shit together <laughs> before things go completely insane. And next year this is everywhere and everyone's investing in everything and it's just absolute chaos.